दंडो दमयतामस्मी जिगीषता मौन चैवास्मी गुहा I am the scepter of rulers, Danda. Of those seeking to conquer, I am righteousness. Of secrets, I am silence. I am the wisdom of the wise. So, Danda is a scepter, a stick that symbolizes the ruler's power. If you remember, the Kenyan president at one time used to carry this with him all the time. He himself was huge, but he carried this stick. The stick represents the authority of a king or a person of power. Now, what he's saying here is, the when he says, I am the scepter of rulers, what really gives authority and power to a ruler is unselfishness. Is when the ruler does service to his subjects. Like for instance, uh, Mahatma Gandhi had this power without the danda. If one worry he never had in his life was, if he stood for elections, he didn't have to worry about whether he'd win or not. Hmm? Even, in fact, even uh, Jawaharlal Nehru didn't have any such worries. And from that, within a short period of time, we are at a stage where votes have to be bought. Ridiculous. So the authority, the power of a person comes only through unselfishness. So if you want to be powerful, any one of you here with political aspirations, remember one thing. The best way of earning votes is to do service to your constituency. I am Neeti among those, that, that is righteousness, among those who are seeking to conquer. Take a look at the Mahabharata. The Pandavas had much less ammunition, much less number of soldiers, less horses, less elephants, everything was less compared to the Kauravas. Yet, Duryodhana, the commander-in-chief of the Kauravas, was, was always insecure, afraid. He wasn't sure, first of all, whether his people would remain loyal to him or not. On the other hand, Pandavas were totally secure. They had no fears whatsoever. Why? Because they were on the side of righteousness. In fact, just before the Mahabharata began, just before the war began, Yudhishthir walked over to the Kaurava side, alone, unarmed, no security people. You know, nowadays, if you are an ordinary person, you have a security cordon around you. Nobody, nothing. He walked across because he wanted to pay homage to Bhishma and Drona. Bhishma, his ancestor, I mean, his uh, grandfather, great-grandfather, whatever. And Dronacharya, his guru. And the interesting thing is, not one of his hair was touched. Nobody dared touch him. That is the kind of power that you should have. Not security around you all the time. So, niti, righteousness. When you are righteous, when you follow a, a code of conduct, when you are serving people, nobody in the world would want to do you harm. Then he says a very interesting thing. Of secrets, I am silence. The best way of keeping a secret is keep quiet. <laughs> Shut up. Automatically the secret will be kept. But the moment you are told a secret, what happens? You pass it on. And everyone who passes on the secret, first of all, whoever tells it to you says, don't tell anyone, it's top secret. <laughs> you know, if you want word to pass around, if you want people to know something, the best way of doing it is telling people, it's top secret, don't tell anyone. The moment you say don't tell anyone, the recipient of your secret will immediately pick up the phone or send SMSs, bulk SMSs. <laughs> secret Maunam, there are four ways of uh, keeping maunam, keeping a secret. He says, one is you take a vow and say, I will not utter this. Second is by mutual consent. 
two people get together and say, okay, we will not divulge this to anybody. Third is a larger group of people have a common code. Uh, organizations have a common code where they understand that they're not supposed to divulge company secrets, for instance. But the best way of doing it is just keep quiet. And how can you keep quiet when you're not interested? When you're not interested in a thing, when you have no ax to grind about a thing, you have no, um, you have nothing to do with it. So even when you're told about it, you know what happens? Since you're not interested, immediately you forget. So when you forget, where is the question of telling anybody? Maunam. You should be maunam to the happenings of the world because you understand these things go on in the world. Don't get hyper about anything in the world. Don't get excited. Maintain your balance. Maunam. I am jnana of the jnanavantas. Among the knowledgeable people, among the wise, I am knowledge. That which makes a wise person what he is, is knowledge of the self. So he says, I am that pure knowledge which J. Krishnamurti refers to as objectless awareness. We won't get into that right now. But uh, wisdom of the wise. You know, to, in today's age, the commercialization is so complete that everything has a price to it. What is the use? So everybody is doing like, uh, you hear on TV, I am graduate, 70, 80% of them went into finance. Finance means what? trading on the stock market. So as a result, very few people are interested in anything else. Right from school onwards, the accent is on marks so that you can earn more money, so that you can, I don't know, do what with that money. So there is no value for knowledge for the sake of knowledge. So develop this value for wisdom because it is wisdom that in the end helps. Next verse, 39.